We're talking about native plants and why we would want to get our seeds, seedlings, and plants locally. Plants that are grown from Virginia seeds mean they are adapted to all of our Virginia ecosystems, from our hot, muggy summers to our cool winters. So today I'd like to talk about a couple of our native plants that are excellent for your pollinator garden. And this is New York ironweed with this beautiful purple flower and the dried seed heads that are just getting started. And it's sort of tragic to have weed in your name because the modern connotation for weed is something that you wouldn't want. One of the reasons people called things weeds in the past were because they were so easy to grow. And New York ironweed is an amazing pollinator plant, just getting blooming here in the late summer and very active for both butterflies and bees. We also have here in the garden, this yellow sneezeweed. Uh, this is another nice native plant in terms of providing access to pollen and nectar for our native bees. This is another very tall native plant uh, with yellow flowers. And I like the yellow of the sneezeweed with the purple of the ironweed, so I get some contrast of color. There are many other natives that aren't as big as this. And let me show you a couple of seeds my golden Alexander has just finished blooming and now the seed heads are starting to dry. So I would take these seeds and I could store them for planting next year in a cool, dry place. Or if I've got a bare spot, I could just start sprinkling the seeds right there. They'll go dormant for the winter and they'll come up the next year. Very easy to grow and an excellent pollinator plant with yellow flowers that would bloom earlier than either the ironweed or the sneezeweed. The other seeds I have today are from our wonderful native Virginia tree, the red bud. Red buds are a small tree, so they don't grow particularly tall. They have a beautiful pink purple flower in spring, heart-shaped leaved all summer, and I picked some of their seed pods. Now these are too early, they're not quite ready yet, but you might have thought I picked pea pods, but this is the actual pod from the legume, the redbud tree. Now, if we wanted to plant these for next year, we want to wait till a little later in fall when the seed pods are dried up and brown, and then we can collect the seeds. Again, you could put them right down on the bare ground where you want them and let them germinate in place, or you could save them in a cool, dry place over the fall and winter and then plant next spring. So make sure you look for Virginia native plants from Virginia native plant nurseries and seed exchanges. That way you'll get your local ecotype seeds, plants, plants and seedlings for your garden and that will give you your best growth chances.